a nice fall day and we're fishing with my good buddy Walt Garrick and uh, right now I'm fishing with an egg pattern and uh, 5x tippet. Walt, what are you using? Uh, same thing, an egg pattern, uh, something that we tied up a while ago. Shrimp color with an orange little bee. Not here for trophy browns and we end up with the salmon first thing, but uh, that's okay one of the too. fellas that's fishing with us the first thing this morning, he hooked up on a nice brown and we were able to get that on camera. Yeah, that was probably about a four or five pound brown from what I saw. Fall can be as much fun as the spring season, especially when you catch great fish like this one. That white patch is the tail of a, of a white salmon. But the, the trout are right in the salmon. I know. I mean, you fish for the salmon and they're, and they're right there. I just, that was the first brown that I saw flashing at something underneath the surface. I watched it flash again. So I said, yeah, I'll throw a muddler over there if that's what I add on. Second cast, it picked it up. I mean, it's, the fishing has definitely picked up since lunchtime. Oh, yeah. This fish hit it, turned, and ran right down river instantly. Could, I don't know, it, it could possibly be a steely. It took me so long to get something decent on the line, and I started kidding Walt about the last time I lost one because we had no net. So now he gets the chance to rub it in when he has a net, and I still lose a good fish. Brown woolly bugger, or a style halfback nymph, size 10. <laughs> 